warning, the final warning. This current build is final for the Luigi Creepasta Challenge. Creepasta Museum 3D is still in development. The lobby you're about to enter is not complete as it is still in the planning phase. Everything will differ from the final release. Also, this game may contain flashing lights and jump scares. Feel free to leave some feedback on how to improve the game. Enjoy the game, Luigi Creepasta Challenge. Love how he added my Luigi Kid profile picture as well. Very nice. nice. Well, the further my dedicated bros, get ready and tell us in the comment section how to improve the game. Ooh, looking still nice. So what's going on my dedicated bros? It's me, Luigi Kid, and welcome back to another episode of the 3D Creepypasta Museum created by Bones the Creepypasta Hunter. So far we've played through lots and lots of cool Creepypasta remake games like Suicide Mouse, The Theater, Sonic.exe and Sonic.exe. And in this version it seems like Bones the Creepypasta Hunter has added some more stuff. Yoshi.exe, a Tailstone map, Changed image quality, some skyboxes are now rotate. This is not a final for the creepypasta challenge. Let's see. Whoa, did he add this exit? Is it new? Okay. <laughs> I'm actually able to exit from there. Very, very nice. It's the small details that are surprising me. Uh, I, I like it, I like it. Seriously, my dedicated bros, if you love scary and crazy stuff as well, then make sure to smash the like button. And if you're not a dedicated subscriber yet, then make sure to do it now. On this channel, you find everything creepypasta related, scary, creepy, and funny. I, I think you're gonna enjoy this. So, you already teased Yoshi.exe. Yoshi.exe. This game is a remake of the .exe game by Skashi. It may be possible that this game will get taken down for remaking this as the original game will suffer the same fate. If it gets taken down because of this game, then I will re-upload it without it. Makes sense, makes sense. Let's hope that everything is gonna be alright. Mario 64 still jumping into that picture and... Oh. How does this work? A 3D skybox like that? Oh, I, I like the music. Who doesn't like the music? Can I can I jump down the sides? No. Nope. All all clear. Bro, oh, that's the jumping sound. Bruh. I keep messing up the the easiest jumps. I swear to God, baby Mario. Where is the baby Mario? Okay. Just like in the original. Bro, I remember playing Yoshi.exe. Damn, those were the times. Simple but very, very effective the EXE game. And it's really, really cool reliving that, but now in 3D. Though it's still very, very linear. It would be cooler if you could go to the left, to the right. But no. Oh, Poochie, how you doing? What? I'm surrounded by Poochies. Okay, where's your face, mate? Anyway, let's continue walking forward. There is a gigantic wall in the background. How am I able to pass here? I think I'm asking too many questions. But yeah, I'm just worried, my dedicated roses, because I don't want to break the game or anything. Okay, well, that explains the question. We're already inside this building. It, it sounds like Mario, maybe Mario is somewhere on the right side. Seriously, I only hear the scream on the right side of my headphones. Please stop it! I'm actually getting anxious. Bruh. Now here the atmosphere is a lot better. Like on the right and to the left, the walls are closed. It looked a lot better than the open level from before. But yeah, I think I can already see baby Mario sitting here in the distance. I, I, I'm actually afraid to really approach him. Do I really want to approach him? Bro, ah, oh, the, the jump scare is just like in the original. Oh boy. For that, my dedicated bros, cheers. <laughs> well, it seems like we're dead. Yoshi, you got killed by the baby Mario. Well, if that's a war for like but didn't care, bros, then I don't know either. Make sure to smash the like button. The game is over. Let's return to the museum and play the other brand new level that he has added to it. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot there was something more in the game. There was a... <laughs> Damn it, there was a Yoshi jump scare. I completely forgot about that, my dedicated bros. Oh, nice one. So, the level set here in the lobby thinks tends to change. There's a Creepypasta Hall of Fame. We have already seen that in the previous episode. 
Ah, the death facts, you can check that out on your own if you're interested in dedicated pros. I would really encourage you to download this game. And here we got original games, and this root to play original games made by the developer. This is separate from remakes, so it's easy to tell what is what. Okay, and here we go with the tail stall. Tail stall, the seven emeralds. This game plays a bit like Slender. It was developed this way since I don't want to go for the effort of remaking the eight pages. The goal? Collect seven emeralds that appear in order throughout the stage without getting caught by the tail stall. Once you collect one emerald, the next will appear. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress, meaning there's some bugs and glitches that can happen. Oh my. Bugs and glitches. Oh, I love these. I, I'm afraid. I'm actually afraid of bugs and glitches. Select a stage and more stages will come in the final release. Warning, this game is pretty buggy. If your die while Tailstone is not near, then try to move differently, otherwise report the arrows. Easier said than done. <laughs> uh, let's play on the resort island and let's go. Holy, is that, is that very, very dark. Okay, my first feedback that I could give you, we need a bit more light. A bit more light source. And we've already found the first emerald. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was always about the sunshine. Can you feel the sunshine by the indicator, bros? Because I can. I think the tail was right behind me, but I haven't seen it. I've only heard the song. And there's the second emerald. Okay, the resort island map looks very, very nice. And also pretty, pretty spooky. In night mode. In night time. Seriously, more developers should go for something like that. Like creating your... EXE games or horror games by rendering, rigging out some maps of these classic games and then add some spookiness to it. Yeah, just like Bones to Creepasta Hunter did. That is very, very original. Okay, obviously I can't do the loop. <laughs> no loopings for us. We're doing fine. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where's the, where's the tail stall? I, I've, I've heard the tail stall. Oh, there it is! Okay, okay. Run, 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 run! Bro, it's so it's so dark that I don't even know where I'm supposed to go to. And the damn pistol is in my freaking neck! It's breathing in my neck! Okay, I need to calm down, seriously. All good, all good, all good. We have four. I see, I see the shadow of it! I see the shadow! I mean the red light. Okay. Oh, damn it. Damn it. That was really intense with dedicated bros. Five out of seven. I think we're still doing good. How did I survive that? Honestly, no freaking clue. Please, no. Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Get lost, bruh! Oh, there's an invisible wall. He's still there! Ah, oh, Believe it or not. But this is actually more stressful than Slender. Okay, so as long as there's no music, we should be safe and sound. Can you even see anything on my screen, my dedicated pros? We have to change the contrast a lot here. Or else you may not be able to see anything. But bro, what could be the last emerald? Where? I think I see it in the distance. I think I see something going in the distance. Oh, and where to go? We did it! We did it! Easy! First try! First try! I thought we were doomed, guys, but I somehow made it! First freaking try! That is some real MLG by Dedicated Bros. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Baldy Schoolhouse. Let's try this one out. Hi! Welcome to my schoolhouse. It's just super damn dark. Yeah, bro, it is actually dark, and I can't see anything. But here we have the school rules, but I think there is no principal that can stop us now, which is good. Also, my nose is now itching once again! <laughs> oh my, the tail is already right behind me. What is, what is wrong with the textures here? Textures are going crazy. You don't have to make the game too dark to make it feel spooky or anything. Oh, there's the first arrow. Bro, it took me years. And there's the tails already coming. Yep, definitely change the brightness. Okay, this is the principal's room. Ah, oh, oh no, okay, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Okay, maybe I can do that. Oh my, I did that for 20 places move. 
How did I survive that? You can also jump out of the table, which makes this a lot easier. And now you can't do anything. Yeah. Kind of broken. Maybe removing that ability in this game. But yeah. Just my damn opinion. I'm not gonna give up because it takes too long. It takes too long to figure out where the heck these emeralds are. And it's also too dark. Let me tell you this. I've played Boys Basics the first time so many times that I would know where all the notebooks are. Which way is the best to go. But here it's almost impossible because you first can't see and you don't know where the emeralds are spawning. But yeah, just my opinion, maybe continue working on that. You said this is still a work in progress, but your final submission for the Creepypasta challenge, and I gotta tell you, all of those Creepypasta remakes you post in here were actually quite nice, and I really, really enjoyed this so far, and I hope you, my dedicated bros, enjoyed it as well. If you'd like to see the previous games that I've played, then make sure to check out the previous videos that I've recorded of the 3D Creepypasta Museum. It was really, really good. Remember, guys, you can still submit your game until October 50 for the Creepypasta challenge with a Nintendo Switch. Looking forward to playing your game. And with that being said, my dedicated Rose Burnettes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel part if you haven't already, to rate the video or the comments feedback, and we'll see you, Jana, in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you, ciao!